Hi, welcome to the Phenomenex GC Lab. The cool lock nut is designed to help you ensure fast, correct GC column installation. Using the cool lock nut allows you to quickly change your GC column to reduce laboratory downtime and increase productivity. Precise installation of your cool lock nut is critical to system performance. Columns installed at improper or inconsistent depth will cause various chromatographic problems, including poor sensitivity, split or tailing peaks, and poor run-to-run -run response reproducibility. In this video, I will guide you through the step-by-step -step instructions on how to properly install the cool lock nut so that you can avoid any complications. Before we start, let's get familiar with the parts of your cool lock nut. Your cool lock nut has three main sections, the locking nut with ferrule, the main body, and the upper ferrule. The locking section is formed by the securing nut, lower ferrule, and securing base. This section has two main purposes. It helps to ensure a consistent and proper installation depth throughout the installation process, and because it ensures the proper installation depth, it is also responsible for improved reproducibility. The main body is comprised of the wheel and upper body, which is similar to a traditional nut. The wheel has been designed to be adjusted using your fingers, and therefore doesn't need any tools to adjust or install. Because the wheel mirrors the oven temperature and cools with the oven, you can avoid burning your fingers when removing your column. This is the cool feature of the cool lock nut. For this installation, we will also use the cool lock installation gauge to increase our accuracy and help properly install the GC column at the right depth. Now that we're familiar with the parts of the cool lock nut, let's get started. First, remove the securing nut from the bottom of the cool lock nut. Insert your GC column through the securing nut, lower ferrule, main body, and upper ferrule. Using a scoring wafer, cut one centimeter of the column. This will remove any graphite or ferrule residue that results from the inserting of the column through the ferrules. Insert the end of the column and the cool lock nut into the bottom of the cool lock installation gauge. Hand tighten the cool lock nut into the gauge until the upper ferrule begins to compress. Adjust the length of the column to the desired length required by your instrument manufacturer. Further tighten the cool lock nut into the gauge until the column cannot slide. Tighten the securing nut to the securing base, locking the column in place so it does not slide. Finally, unscrew the installation gauge. You are now ready to install the cool lock nut and column into your instrument. Hold the cool lock nut by the locking section. Insert the column into your instrument fitting. Rotate the main body until you start to feel resistance. Then, make sure to fully extend the locking section. Your cool lock nut is secure when the locking section does not move up and down. There you go. Your installation is now complete. 